Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake K Tag, and today we're back at again to assert dominance with Giant Double Prince. This is one of my favorite decks because no matter what you play against, you generally have a pretty good matchup. The Dark Prince eliminates all of the bait cards with its splash damage, so the Prince can come through with its massive charge damage and deal damage to your opponent's towers or really important units. And of course, you're gonna have the double win conditions to always have a tank for the Double Princes and the Mega Minion. And if you somehow can't find your way to your opponent's tower with the Giant, you'll be able to reliably get chip damage with the Miner and the Fireball Cycle. Giant Double Prince has been one of the best giant decks in Clash Royale for a fat minute. So let's go jump straight into some games and assert some dominance. And a huge shout out to all of you guys that are supporting the channel with Creator Code SirTag. All money made from Creator Code SirTag goes directly back into improving the channel's setup and editing, and it allows me to upload on a daily basis while taking full-time college courses. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're gonna sauce out of good luck and we're gonna go right in with the miner. What is this guy gonna have? What is he gonna do? I'm excited to see. Tombstone, okay, so when we see Tombstone, probably gonna be a Lava Hound deck. Could also be Graveyard, but most people run Goblin Cage or Bomb Tower with it. So I'm thinking that he's probably gonna have a Lava Hound deck. So we just wanna go for our Giant in the back. Oh, the Skeleton Dragon value. I can't pass that up, guys. Thank you. 201 chip damage on the tower. Gotta snag that. So he's gonna have Mega Minion and he's gonna have a Tombstone with also the Skeleton Dragons. Definitely 100% conviction that this guy's running Lava Hound Balloon. We'll have to wait and see if I'm right here, but I'm gonna lock in final answer that he's got Lava Hound Balloon. So yep, there it is. We're gonna have to go in for our, our Dark Prince and our Electro Wizard to shut down the Balloon. The Balloon is gonna be able to get two hits on the tower right now, but as long as the Electro Wizard is gonna be able to stun, the Balloon will not take our entire tower. So it's just gonna get two hits. We can't really stop that second hit, but we can stop the third. So we're not gonna go for a Zap because it's not gonna give us anything. Want to make sure the Tombstone's out of cycle, because when the Tombstone's out of cycle, he has no Barbarians. Then we go for Prince Giant in the left, and we take that tower. So that's what we want right now. Really, really want that. I'm going to go in for our Giant here. We can go for our Prince to go and pull the Skeleton Dragon. As long as it doesn't go towards the Skeleton, we're chilling. It did go towards the Skeleton. Oh, no. All right, I guess we're going to do some split lane aggression, guys. The times have changed. We're doing things differently here. We're gonna go for a zap, and I think the prince goes towards the right-hand side. So you know what? That actually worked out really well. We were able to isolate the barbarians away from the prince. The prince took the right-hand tower. You know what? It was actually better that the skeleton pulled the prince. I can't believe that. Have you guys ever had a misplay actually work out and not be a misplay? That's what just happened here. We can just go for a high Electro Wizard. Even if he fireballs, he's not going to be able to hit the Electro Wizard and the tower. He only gets that damage. So that's not that bad for him. But you know what, dude? You still have to deal with an Electro Wizard that's coming towards your three. So what are you going to do, my dude? So you're going to Lava Hound. You know what we can do is we can just go in for a Prince Giant and then fireball your Barbarians. And I don't think there's any way for you to stop this. We're going to three crown you, dude. The Prince actually won us this game. I can't believe how strong it is, man. We can go for a Zap as well to annihilate the Mega Minion. Fireball Zap kills Mega Minion. He has to go for his own Fireball on defense. But dude, you have no ground answers right now. We can go for a Miner. We can go for a Dark Prince. You cannot stop the Miner. You're going to have to go in for a Tombstone on defense there. Dude, you are dropping so much Elixir. And still, we can try to 3 crowd you after. So it is, uh, is going to be an uphill battle for my dude here. I need to go for Electro Wizard just to shut that down. We can Fireball here actually just to make sure that that does not end up getting a hit. And then we can Zap. Also, if you guys didn't know, the reason why I knew that wasn't going to get a hit is I played a lot of 2.9 Expo, and the way that you go in for your fireballs is you time it so right when the balloon is about to hit your tower, you fireball, it disrupts the animation, the balloon thinks it gets a hit, but it actually doesn't. I couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. And he completely lost the game because of that. GG, well played. Too bad we weren't able to three crown you, but we definitely did assert dominance. We go for a Dark Prince here. This guy's gonna go for a Miner. We're gonna shut that down and we're gonna see what's up. So when this dude goes in for a Miner to kick open the game, we can always get counter push. And we can go drop our Electro Wizard on top of the bats too. No way. Guys, this start is unreal. The Dark Prince charges through and hits the tower. The splash damage is unprecedented. And this guy is down a thousand damage to kick open the game. So that's great. That's actually stellar. So 99% of the time when your opponent's got Prince and you're going for Dark Prince on offense, you don't get that much value. But right here, in this very moment, we got tons of value. That was some Costco value, guys. We go for a Prince here. He's switching up his minor spots. He got me there, but dude, whenever we go in for a Prince and we defend something, we go in for a Giant right after. We make counter push, make you a sad panda. 
So you're going to go in for Bats and Ice Golem and Inferno Tower. So it looks like you're going to be able to defend the Prince adequately, especially if you want to go for Spear Goblins and drop even more Elixir. You did not need to drop the Spear Goblins. The Prince was going to die. And then also on top of that, my dude, 100% the Mega Minion was going to die too, right into the Inferno Tower because the Ice Golem was still kiting. But he didn't realize that and he overspent. Feels good, my dudes. Once again, he completely ripped me off. So we do go in for the Electro Wizard on top of the Spear Goblins. He goes in for a Bar Barrel, four for four trade essentially because of the spear goblins and the barbell equating to four uh maybe we can go in for a minor here he's gonna go for a prince if we do so do we go in for the inside corner why are you switching towers why would you do that to yourself yeah let's go i'm so glad because switching up your minor spot a lot of times your opponent just will not be guessing right so we want to go for a dark prince just because of its shield we want to make sure the prince locks onto that so we can shut it down and not have to spend any extra elixirs so what else are you going to do my dude Four for five trade, we'll take it. Get to save our prince and still roll a giant in the back. So the way that we're going to break through the Inferno Tower is using our Miner, Zap, and Prince. We need to hold our Zap so we're not going to Zap the Spear Goblins. Oh, you're going to make me drop an Electro here probably. Electro is going to be fine because it will be able to finish off the Miner as well. So we're going to go and do that. And it counter pushes straight towards the Inferno Tower. So there's going to be a ton of things that work our way. So we're going to go in for the Miner here. And I'm going to be able to Zap on top of the Prince and on top of... Then Inferno Tower at the exact same time. I'm going to wait with our Fireball. The Giant will be able to get a hit. We can cycle back to another Giant. Another one! How many Giants can we get on the map, guys? We right now have two Santa Clauses, and I don't think he's back to an Inferno Tower. Even if he is, we can Fireball on top of his Double Princes with the Mega Minion still alive. Santa Claus is delivering the presents to North Pole. And guys, one more hit, and then all we have to do is Fireball. 17 seconds remaining, so we just need to defend the Virginity on the other lane. And simply just zapping this is more than enough. But I could go in for a Dark Prince to annihilate the Miner so he doesn't even get that ship damage. Because we're about the life of denying maximum damage and making our opponent a perpetually sad panda. GG, well played, and peace out, brother. I still can't believe how bewildered I was by that Dark Prince getting so much chip damage early on. So we got a game here. We're going to sauce out a good luck. And we're going to get ready and ready to go with the Giant in the back. Because we got Prince. So if you spam in the opposite lane, we got it covered. Doesn't matter, dude. You're going to go for an Ice Golem, actually. That's really good for us. So if he's got Ice Golem, maybe he's got 2.9. No, he doesn't have 2.9, but he's got three Musketeers. So that's also quite good. Because I got Fireball, my dude. I can Fireball on top of the Ice Golem and the two Musketeers. Please stack up more. You know you want to stack up more and give me more value. Oh, he listened to me. He answered our calls. And he drops everything he had. No way, dude. So we're going to be able to finish off everything and probably just three crown him. See, sometimes, guys, you just got to pray. You got to be like, yo, please, sir, just drop everything. And he casually dropped all of his elixir, his entire piggy bank, man. I got this. I'm all in. He emptied it. And uh, he's going to be empty after this one. There's nothing he can do. The Dark Prince is getting on top of the tower. He's got 850 HP. Yo, you have less HP on your King Tower than I do on the tower that you tried to spam on. Let's put that in perspective. I'm a sad panda. So yet again, I think we just go for a giant. If he goes in for three musketeers. All right, here's the ultimate meme. Do we deny this just for the like massive meme of like stopping this guy from taking a single tower? Or are we going to be a nice person? Oh, he's going to be able to take one tower. Okay, so I was going to be a horrible human being. I was going to be like, guys, we want a 3-0 victory. But you know what? We did lose one tower. Well played to him taking that last tower at least. We'll walk out of the next one and we'll keep asserting dominance. All right, we got a game here. We're going to sauce out a good luck and we're going to see what's up. I definitely want to go for a zap to cycle because I don't have my miner. We got to go and cycle something. And we can't wait around and find out that our opponent's got golems. So we need to go for our giant in the back when we see the cage. If only I had my prince. If only I had the true sir. That would be fantastic. We are going to fireball here. I do miss the heal spirit. He times it really well. It's going to get so much more chip damage as a result. So that is not what we wanted to see, guys. You are hurting my feelings, you are hurting my tower, and you are hurting my pride. So you're going to have Spear Goblins, and you're going to go and have Goblin Cage. So this is a really bad start. We're down 1,000 HP. We found out that he's got Bait Deck, and we found out that he's got Goblin Cage to pull our giant with the Rail Delivery Service on top of all of our Princes. So how are we going to play this? How are we going to navigate this game? So I just want to go and Stole World Dark Prince in the back and build up as much Elixir as possible. I'm going to go for the Dark Prince here on the left-hand side in case he wants to go in for Rail Hogs. Really nice timing for us. We can go in for our Electro Wizard. Make sure that he's not able to heal up that many of the Royal Hogs when it's uh, near our tower. Then we can go for a Giant. So we build up the push like that. We slow roll our Dark Prince. We don't get overzealous trying to defend every Spear Goblin on the right. We try to make sure that we have enough Elixir to build up massive pushes. In fact, we're going to go for a Zap here with our Dark Prince. We can go in for a Miner for the Dark Prince to be tanked for again. 
Oh, the Dark Prince died. That was so sad. If only he stayed alive a little bit longer and then he got a connection on the tower or the spear goblins while the spear goblins targeted the miner. That would have been amazing. We were on the precipice of something great, guys. But it didn't work out. Next time it will. I'll get him later. When he goes in for Royal Hogs, I think we're going to have to go in for a Dark Prince in the back and try to time that really well. I'm going to go and do that right now. Even though we're at Elixir, I think he was going to be up a little bit. So it was worth us doing that so then we can get the charge rolling through. Maybe we can fireball that. Doesn't really make too much sense. I'm going to actually do it because we can hit the cage too. It's worth it. Dark Prince is going to give us value. We know he's going to go for Royal Hogs. So we want to go for a Prince and we want to go for Mega Minion. So we're trying to go for the beefy tank killers to try to uh, get those Royal Hogs down as quickly as possible and fuel a more aggressive play with our Giant after. 43 HP in a dream. Can we make the comeback, guys? I think this might be a 1-1 game. I think the Giant's going to go straight towards the tower. Yeah, so we will take the tower if I fireball those bats. I need to fireball the bats or we're not taking the tower. So I'm going to go and do that right now. One more hit. Let's go. And, okay. So with 43 HP, we're going to lose it. Um, I don't know if this is worth going for the Electro Wizard here. I think it's okay. Maybe. The Dark Prince is coming through. The Dark Prince is going to get a hit. Oh, he's going to Royal Delivery last second. So he's freaking out, actually. Does he not have a way of getting ship damage here? I think he does. We're going to just Fireball this. You definitely have a small spell, dude. There's no way you don't have a small spell to break through on that. So we can go in for a Giant or we can go in for a Dark Prince. He's actually going to have to Fireball. Oh, my gosh. He didn't have a small spell, guys. He only had Royal Delivery. That was it. That was the secret sauce. So we can Stop. zap those so then they don't get chip and we can start to slow roll. So guys, we're coming back despite that horrific start. We will mount a comeback and assert the dominance. Chip, 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 chip. I believe in miracles, the double prince domination. Can we get two Santa Clauses on the map? That is how you assert maximum dominance. We need to fireball those actually because it's just too much value for him. And I think he's going to go for bats or something. We'll see. We can go for another giant here and then go in for a Zapparino. The princes get onto the tower, then we're chilling. Giant plus Prince oh. on the tower. No, he's going to go for another cage. He shut me down. That was brutal, dude. We only get one hit. We know you're going to go for Royal Hogs. We have to go for a Dark Prince in the back so that we can start to get that moving and grooving. If the Dark Prince is able to get the, the uh, charge on top, then we're going to be able to get a much cleaner defense. But guys, we're at 400 HP now. This is looking quite dramatic. I'm going to go in for a Giant in the middle. Maybe we can outcycle the Goblin Cage. We'll have to wait and see. Definitely need a Fireball here. If I'm able to Fireball and then keep the Princes alive while they're on the tower with the Giant tanking, maybe just maybe we're able to assert the Dominance. I'm going to go for a Zap. Guys, can we have the comeback? The Giant did not get the hit. We're going to go and dro drop our stuff in the back. We need to go in for a Dark Prince as well. And I need to Electro. He's going to Fireball me though. Oh no, this is really coming down to the wire. Wait, we can Fireball and win the game. No way. That comeback was insane, guys. The start of the game had me so shook and scared. But I am so glad we won. Wow. All right, guys, we got a game here. We're going to sauce out of good luck, and we are going to see what's up. What do you have in store for us, Matt? What are you going to be dropping today? Since you're not dropping anything, I'm going to go plop down my giant. We've got the double prince domination for whatever you sauce out on the left-hand side or the right. Okay, so you're going to go in for the right-hand side with the dark prince. We're also going to go for a dark prince here, so then we can charge it up, stop your shield, and annihilate you. So what else are you going to have, dude? We're just going to be cordially hugging in the middle of the map there. And I can go for a prince because guess what? You just went in for Electric Dragon, and I can Fireball. Yo, you have no answer to that, Prince. That's good at all your tower. Even if you tornado it back. <laughs> he probably has either Elixir Golem or Golem, and he just lost an insane amount of value. Also, when you see an Electric Dragon, you don't want to go the same lane with the Double Princes because it's just going to stun everything, right? So it's really nice to be able to do that. One thing that I could do is I could go for a Mega Minion, or I could go for an Electro Wizard. I think we're going to go for an Electro Wizard just to activate King Tower. This seems weird, but it's worth it, guys, in my opinion. Activating King Tower when you're around full HP, even though it's a four trade, like I'm dropping four elixir there, I think it's generally worth it. Oh my gosh, you guys saw that I was hovering the miner. I was ready. My body was so ready to miner there. And if I dropped like a miner there and then he just went for a collector, we could have lost. Oof, that was oh. a close call. But... Good save. We could have just straight up lost the game. <laughs> so glad that didn't work out for him. I'm going to go in for a Mega Minion just to be able to shut down the Dark Prince. We can also go for another Dark Prince on top of the Lumberjack. We gotta drop it dangerously close to our tower because you guys know the Lumberjack has one thing on its mind and it's the tree, AKA the tower. He's literally like Paul Bunyan chopping down trees, left, right, and center. And that's all he goes for. That's all he knows in life. He's gonna go for Electro Dragon. I don't really care about that because we already did enough damage. We've activated King Tower. Your Electro Dragon's out of cycle. I think Matt is undercover as a Golem player. I don't think he's running Elixir Golem. He's undercover, he's under the blankets, and there he is, revealed as a gold player. 
Jake just solved the case. How did I know? It's like I could see the future or something. Actually, no, I've played this deck a lot, so it's not that impressive. We can fireball and uh, we can shut that down and then we're gonna be able to get a lot of value. What are you doing, Matt? What are you doing? What is, what is your philosophy here? Trying to defend everything at the same time. If only we had been able to keep that alive, guys. The one thing that is really problematic for us is the golem. If it gets death damage on your opponent's tower, it gradually sticks up so much damage. So that's the only thing that I'm scared about is constantly going opposite lane against golem decks is what we like to do. So then we do tower traits instead of trying to defend all the time. Sometimes you want to go same lane to defend in the last couple seconds. But if they've got Electro Dragon, I can't go same lane as him. I will lose 100% of the time. So that's why we were trying to go opposite, guys. Worked out really well. Fortunately, he had Collector when we had Miner. That worked out amazingly. And uh, yeah, despite this usually being a horrible matchup, because I think that we had Fireball for the Skeleton Dragons and Miner for the Collector, everything worked out in our favor. GG and well played. We took away Matt's covers and we asserted dominance. Oh, he's a little bit of a sad panda. I'm sorry, man. He actually ended up crying at that. All right, we got a game here. We're gonna sauce out a good luck and we're gonna see what's up. Definitely wanna go in for a zap to kick it open. And when we see skeletons, it's gonna be a fast cycle deck. What are you gonna have, 2.9 or 2.6? Nope, it's going to be Prince Fast Cycle. <laughs> of course. Why would it be anything skillful? <laughs> You'll love to see it, guys. So the Dark Prince is probably just going to die here, so I can't really support that. I could have supported the Electro Wizard, though, with the Miner. I think that might have been spicy. That could have been quite good. I just didn't know, guys. I didn't know if the Dark Prince was going to survive. But of course, the Prince has to pummel it. So down in this game right now, 300 HP. Can we bounce back? Can we assert the dominance against the Johan? Or Johan? <laughs> Johan. I know I'm going to get memed for that, guys. I can't ever pronounce anyone's name correctly. So we want to go for Prince of the Back. We want to start slow rolling, getting ready to roll. Going for a Miner here, maybe. Or, you know what? Ah, zapping this is, seems really bad. It seems like a horrible life choice. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to overcommit. I want to save my Elixir. I want to go for Mega Minion in the back. Realize that he's probably going to go for Bats and a lot of other spam cards. So we want to save our Elixir for that. So here we go. We're going to zap now. Make sure that we have adequate answers. Our Dark Prince is going to come through. The Mega Minion is getting targeted by the Bat. And then we can go for a Miner because now we have the Dark Prince alive. The Prince did not kill him this time. The brother is staying alive against him. You know, like when you're a kid and you're fighting with your brother, this time the Dark Prince, the younger child, he actually won. He actually accomplished it, man. He beat his older brother. I'm so proud of him. He made a huge life stride there. We can go for Electro Wizard on top of the Spear Goblin, shut them down. And he's probably gonna go in for like a Miner with the Bats if he can. Yeah, how do we know? It's not like everyone does that. All right, so usually we can't go and support this Prince if uh, we're gonna be down too much Elixir. We know that he's just gonna be able to go for Skeletons in the Log and he would be able to go for his own Prince and it wouldn't really be a good play for us. Rather go for our Giant in the back when we're up and we can make a massive play then, but we don't want to expedite a push for no reason. It's just not my cup of tea, guys. I like formulating pushes that I know will actually work. So the Dark Prince is back to assert dominance on his older brother. We're gonna go for a zap so the Prince doesn't get a charge off. It's gonna fireball. Well, you know that Miner is just gradually chipping away on the tower. It's doing so much work. We can go for Electro Wizard here to shut down the Prince so the Prince's charge is gonna be nullified. And then I think we can supplement our aggression with the Giant in front, because guess what? We've got Electro Wizard, we've got Prince, and those Spear Goblins are going to fall. There's no way for you to keep those alive. I think the Electro Wizard actually evades. The Electro Wizard was a ninja, and the Mortar did not hit it. We can go for a Zap on top of the Skeletons. Maybe we can go for a Fireball here and protect the Miner. Hopefully we can hit something else, too. Boy, that was rough. Yo, that was the worst Fireball ever. What did I hit? Does anyone know what I hit with that Fireball? <laughs> like, what am I doing? So since the Electro Wizard is going to be targeting the Miner, we actually have to go in for a Dark Prince here. So guys, can we just say we're playing this like Expo Cycle and we just try to Fireball him for chip damage? We're a true sir, guys. That was that was some BM Fireball there. <laughs> Definitely not trying to hit anything or anything like that. Who would ever do that in Clash Royale, guys? So we're going to go in for another Electro Wizard, make sure that the Prince goes and targets that. And then if the Bats just get eviscerated, we win the game. Of course, guys, we just need to go in for a Miner here. If we're able to keep the Miner... Uh, on top of the tower for two hits and then fireball we walk with a W so zap does 56 fireball does 201 not in the, the threshold that we can finish him off with just spells we need a minor connection and we can zap here get the minor on top of the tower and proclaim victory against Johan yo one HP and then the fireball finished him off 200 damage overkill there 
GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you and asserting dominance.